Hey friends, I have absolutely no reason to make the cake that I'm gonna make today. I just wanna have fun and hang out with you guys. We're gonna make white chocolate ganache, I'm gonna give away some stuff, I'm gonna answer your questions. You're just gonna hang out with me and the boys. And we're gonna make a silly string cake. There are no rules today. No rules. Brandon, put your pants back on. <laughs> no rules. Let's make some white chocolate ganache. It only has two ingredients, it's so easy. Cream and white chocolate. You wanna use real white chocolate here. That's real chocolate with cocoa butter, not coating chocolate. So we're gonna heat our cream. I think this is already really hot, so it's gonna be a ah! I am the great and powerful Oz. Y'all took too long to get ready. That's y'all's fault right there. Quick, read our futures in it. <laughs> We're gonna make billions of dollars making cakes. No, 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 see, I just stir it up a little. It sounds like it's being unrealistic. <laughs> so when you're heating cream, see it's starting to boil? I'm gonna show you. If it's high enough in the pot, it is going to boil over. So please watch this, see, watch. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off and we're gonna add our chocolates. For those uh, wafers you get from church or something? No, it's white chocolate. I don't know where I got it from. It's a sample somebody sent me, but it, uh, it's real couverture, like real white chocolate. And it has a little bitty flecks of like vanilla in it. Ooh. I know. <laughs> Joshua. Yes. Today, we should get through a bunch of viewer comments. Let's do it. We love your comments, by the way. Let's start now. Okay. Viewer comment. All right, I'm gonna butcher this name. Okay. Charbel Kaur. What's up, Charbel? Says, this chemistry, guys, with you all, amazing. Aw. I wish I could working with you for one day. I will volunteer. Come on, we need help. <laughs> Can you bake? Can you, uh, Brandon, what do you need? Can you edit? You're right. I, uh, how about washing dishes? Carlita Baptist says. Hi, Carlita. JJR, have you ever rolled out fondant smaller than the cake? If you have, how did you fix it? Uh, I have before. If you're using a really nice fondant or like a marshmallow fondant, you usually can sort of stretch it a little bit, but I wouldn't go too aggressive because you're gonna end up ripping it at the top. Uh, yeah, most of the time you just have to peel it off and start over. It's all together, look how nice it is. The problem with ganache, white chocolate ganache, real ganache, is that it is very yellow. So I'm gonna attempt to color correct it by adding a little bit of purple. But you wanna make sure it's oil-based color because if we add any moisture to this, it will seize up. We're gonna add a tiny bit at a time, like a little toothpick prick at a time, try to get some of the yellow out. So otherwise, if we add, dye this pink, it's gonna be like coral, which is cool, but I don't know if I want coral. <gasps> Eek! Oh, that might be too much. You overdid you it. You might have a purple silly string cake. <laughs> Chocolate's gonna be like, why so serious? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be more of a, I love you, you love me. That did nothing. I've never pulled this much yellow out of something. I normally do this with buttercream, and it works perfectly, but buttercream's not that yellow, so this may not work. What are we doing today? Just hanging out, having fun. Experimenting. Experimenting. Yeah. Ooh, that was a lot of purple. Jasmine Gold says, I'm in a long distance relationship. What baked goods could you ship? Cookies. Yeah, cookies, brownies, anything that's not super decorative on the outside, you could totally ship. Just make sure it's wrapped really, really well. And then also ship things that can't spoil. So nothing that has like real butter in it, like that's not baked, like butter creams. Um, but yeah, cookies, brownies, bars, candy, stuff like that, absolutely. And are we in a long distance relationship? Because I like those things. <laughs> Is it me? I'm gonna invent a box that you can ship giant cakes in. Can you do that? And then we can ship to people. That would be so fun if we did episodes and then somebody won the cake. Oh my gosh, I wanna do that. Brandon, get on this box idea. Yep. Does it feel like it's getting any whiter, Brandon, to you? Negative. It is, though. It is. Is it? No, I can't tell. It's just turning purple. It's less yellow. Is it? <laughs> hey, I told you this might not work. If it doesn't work, it's fine. We're dyeing this a million different colors anyway, so. I will show you guys how to do it with buttercream one day. It's really cool. Like I said, I think this is just too yellow. Ooh. <laughs> it's still not white. It took some of the yellow out though, no? Um, it's just a different shade of tan. <laughs> I'm gonna get some white, I'm gonna get some white. Hold on, let's see, I'm gonna, we're just experimenting. Add some white to it. There we go. 
Oh, it's getting white. Maybe we should collaborate with uh, like a painter on YouTube. Actually, you guys tell us who should we collaborate with? I'm down for anything. It doesn't have to be a cake person. Yeah, tell us, tell us who you're watching and who we should do something with. Yeah. Doesn't have to be cake or doesn't have to be food. It could be, but we need some ideas. It's weird that what made it more white was white food coloring. <laughs> but I'm really took, shocked, really shocked the purple didn't work. I took a lot of the yellow out. You have to color correct. So you use purple, use the opposite end of the color wheel. It works on buttercream. I will show you right now. But look how much different it is. Now it will take like pink and be pink and not coral. It'll take blue and not be teal. Although I love teal, we're gonna do teal. So I'm gonna let this cool and we're gonna put our cake together. We're gonna break down an eight inch chocolate cake. My classic chocolate cake recipes at the website. So how do you recipe test something? You make it a whole bunch and make everybody around you taste it and they get really sick of chocolate cake. But then one day they go, this is it. You try like this one has a little more sugar. This one has salt instead of baking soda. Pretty much. No, not salt. You have to do salt. Well, this one doesn't have baking powder, but it has baking soda and salt. You need both of those things. And then over the years, like I, you perfect it. Like at one point I started adding instant espresso or instant coffee because it brings out the flavor of the chocolate. I experiment with the cocoa powders that I use. Um, yeah, that's why baking is so much fun. And sticky. <laughs> Give me a hug. Actually, I'm kind of hungry. I mean, it's so good. But I'm gonna fill it with chocolate buttercream and some other goodies. I gotta clean up my crumbs though. I'm gonna fill this with chocolate buttercream, but I wanna put something else in it, some texture. So I have some toasted coconut leftover from a TikTok I made, and then chocolate chips. You can't go wrong with chocolate chips. It's like a mounds, right? Uh, Almond Joy? No, it has almonds in it. Almond Joys have nuts. Mounds don't. That's true. Do you like coconut? You I love coconut. coconut. I don't like coconut unless it's in like a pina colada. You said it tastes like suntan lotion. <laughs> You're like, you take a sip and you're like, what's the SPF, 50? This is delicious. <laughs> Keep me from sunburns on the insides. But toasted coconut doesn't taste like that. You're, you're thinking of like imitation coconut flavor, right? Real coconut flavor. It totally smells just like suntan lotion. <laughs> but I don't care. I love coconut. I like coconut in desserts. And if you put it in here like this, you're mainly gonna taste chocolate and the coconut's gonna be like a wink, like a hint on the back end. The coconut's gonna go, it's gonna go, Brandon hates when I whisper. Yeah, I'm gonna turn <laughs> that way up. <laughs> ready for another viewer comment? Juan Juarez says, if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. You know, on the taco episode, that just came out of my mouth and I totally forgot about it. And I, when I watched it, I even giggled and I didn't think people would care, but a lot of people commented. Because if you stay ready, you only get ready. You know what I mean? I don't know where I got that from, but I did not come up with that. This is getting a little wonky. You need to sister to listen. Gonna put the top on. Yes. All right, first trip to the cooler. We'll trim the sides, crumb coat, final coat. Let's trim this cake, shall we? Oh, the refrigerator is hungry. What, do you keep hearing weird noises like that? Like there's a pterodactyl landing on the, on the ceiling? I don't know what that is. There's nobody here. Ghosts. Listen, when the air conditioner comes on back there, it makes this really horrible sound. And I always think, screech. Here, here comes the clown on the tricycle with the chainsaw. Joshua, you know what I want to do right now? What? I want to give away something. Ooh, I know what we can give away. Okay. Socks. Oh, official You've Been Deserted Socks. Designed by very own Brendan. Isn't, it, isn't it crazy how fast I took my socks off? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> how did you take your underwear off without taking your pants off? <laughs> how do people win the socks, Joshua? All right, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and comment below that you want socks. Or comment anything. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what you want to see. Uh, yeah, but also comment that you want socks. Yeah, maybe comment, we'll give away a few things. We need to know what thing you want. Yes, comment socks because we're gonna give away some more stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. We'll find some stuff to give you. I got an old fishing rod I can contribute to the giveaways. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just give away new stuff, guys. Yeah, let's stick to things that yeah are in their original packaging. You know how cool it's gonna look with charcoal gray buttercream and like all the colors of the rainbow. That's gonna be rad. I know. I always like how dark you can get the buttercream. I do have a recipe on youbeendeserted.com that shows you how I make my black buttercream. And no, it's not just all black food coloring. I use black onyx cocoa powder and food coloring because if you use too much food coloring, it'll stay in your mouth and also it doesn't taste very good.
Black Onyx cocoa powder is the stuff that tastes like Oreos, right? Yeah, so it's your favorite. You love that stuff. Don't eat it by itself. It needs like sugar and fat. No, I can use it like toothpaste. Ugh. <laughs> Gross. And then drink a bunch of orange juice because I'm a rebel. Haircut. Back to the cooler. It is time to color our ganache. So I've got seven colors here. I'm not really doing the rainbow, just doing colors that I want. Uh, but we're gonna divide the ganache into each one, it's warm, and then we're gonna dye it with oil-based color. So when you're adding color to fat, to chocolate, especially cocoa butter, you wanna make sure it's either oil-based or powder, because if you put moisture into chocolate, it will seize up like that. Seize it. Seize it. Okay, here we go. A little here, whoa, ah! I gotta spread, I gotta spread it out to seven. Don't get crazy. Don't get crazy. It kind of looks like the foundation I put on my face before we start. <laughs> this is my color. <sighs> Made all the ganache. All right, here we go. This is pank, but we're gonna make it pank too, because Silly String's like really bright. Right? Super pank. Silly String doesn't come in like demure colors ever. There's no cornflower blue Silly yeah. String is my favorite. <laughs> this is tan, this is eggshell. <laughs> this is morning glory, which is just white with a little green. I feel like we need more, more, more now after I complained that I did too much. Ready for some more viewer comments? Yeah, bring it on. What are these guys talking about? Rachel Frumkin says, Hi, Rachel. Y'all, it's a new channel. So face reveals now? Unless you did it and I missed it. You missed it. You've seen Brandon and James both on this channel, no? Yeah, last episode of Mac. No, well, yeah, last episode of Mad About Cake, but on this channel, we've seen you. You piped uh, uh, a kokombouche thingy, a cream puff. Yep. Brandon, Brandon is no longer afraid to scare, show his face. I am. Brandon, what color is that? That is... We gotta rename all the colors. Nah, it's pink. Pink. All right, I wanna give away something pink now. <gasps> what about the mug? We have a pink mug, and Brandon made it, made it a Pantone color. <laughs> it's so funny. Pantone name, pink. Pink. People yeah. comment pink down below. We'll pick a winner as long as you're subscribed. We're sending it to someone. Subscribe, pink down below. We'll send you a mug. Can we afford to give away all this stuff, James? Hey. Are you back there counting the pennies that we have in the I bank? Just, I just want to have fun today. I don't want to worry about money. Whoa, this is going to be yellow. Ellie Leitner asks. Hi, Ellie. How do you typically get inspiration for how to decorate or design a cake? Love the show, guys. Thank you. How do I get inspiration? I get inspiration from everywhere. I usually, I watch a lot of fashion shows. That gives me good color stories. Um, and texture, and then um, believe it or not, a lot of makeup tutorials. That gives really good color stories and what colors will blend together. But I get it from everywhere, architecture, music, uh, books, film, TV, I mean there's inspiration all over the place. Random ideas Brandon has and suggests. For sure, Brandon and James will say things, I'm like, let's try that. And then I get a lot of inspiration actually from you guys. I read the comments and you guys come up with some hilarious stuff, I'm like, yeah, we're gonna try that. So if under your comment I ever say on the list, that means I've put it on my master list of things we're gonna do on this channel. It just may take a while. Okay, what color is this? Blue. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's teal. Teal's my favorite color. Well, teal and shiny. AS Gem says, because I love and support your channel so much, I don't skip ads for you. Hey! Well, well except the really long ones. <laughs> that was very sweet and thank you. Yeah, that's it, appreciated. Yes. Watch, watch the commercial. You, hey, you might find something you wanna buy. You know what? Just a little thing. A lot of, we appreciate every person here. But if you throw a comment on, throw a like, you know, click that like button, that really helps us. It for really sure does. helps us. Even if you click the dislike button. <laughs> Stop right. telling him that. Stop. Jeez, Brandon. I feel like Brandon's trying to do something here. Ooh, these colors are really coming out nice. I like them, I like them, I like them. I couldn't find my green. I don't know where it went. So I'm gonna do blue, not teal. Is this blue? That's teal. Blue and green, or blue and yellow. Makes green. Makes green. Let's see. Come on, green. Boo. <laughs> For it makes. What color is that? It's actually not bad. It just kind of, it's, it's avocado-y. Hmm, yeah. Last viewer comment. Okay. M. Conant says, what is your favorite go-to cake if you don't have a lot of time? Oh, that's a good question. Um, definitely my chocolate cake's really easy to make if we're talking about flavor. Uh, buttercream doesn't matter, they all kind of take the same amount of time. 
Decoration wise, uh, for me it's sprinkles, drippies, candy from the grocery store. You can go down the baking aisle of the grocery store and get so much inspiration. I mean, there's coconut chocolate chips. You could decorate something really quickly and make it look really nice. Cornstarch. No. You know what? This is not really the color green I wanted, but I like it. All right, and I'm gonna get these all into piping bags and we'll pull our cake out. What's happening? It's time. It's the thing I've been prepping for all day and waiting for. Pancakes. We're, no. We're, <laughs> Wait, are we getting pancakes? Yes. No, stop. We're gonna silly string the stank oh, yeah. out of this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That so too. I'm gonna spin it and then I'm just gonna. Okay, let's just start with one color. Let's start with pan. But I want to like double gun it at some point. Let's just make sure everything's. Here we go. Ooh. I hope I don't get the camera. I won't. I won't. I won't fling it too hard. This is aggressive and awesome. Jeez. Okay, green, green. Okay, yeah, just squirt some of that on the ground first. Did it fly? This is so much fun. <laughs> oh, yes. God. So you went to culinary school for this, huh? <laughs> Shut up. Yes. I went to culinary school to learn how to bake, and then my. I don't know, my life taught me how to be creative. The blues look exactly the same. Let's go purple. This is totally bringing me back to the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. What are, I'm missing yellow. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air would love this kit. As pants. Yes. <laughs> will Smith, if you're watching this, I will make you some pants. As pants. All right, I want to double fist it. Oh, now you're just getting crazy. I know. Here we go, here we go. I feel like I'm at paintballers. <laughs> I do have a couple places I want to fill in. It's drippy and good, it's awesome. What color do we think are we missing? You're like no colors. Blue, more blue, more blue. You know I'm all about more blue. I love blue. I'm running out, I'm running out. I think that's good, dude. All right, now let's try and get this tape off. Oh, one fell swoop. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh. Looks like you've been making sand castles at a beach made of pixie sticks. <laughs> I, your stupid tape will come off, Brandon. It's too industrial. This is good tape. Okay, I'm gonna get this in the fridge to firm up completely. Today was so much fun. The cake is awesome, 90s vibes for sure. Guys, we're giving away so many things. Socks, we're giving away a mug. Let's give away a t-shirt. Yes. I got one right here. Boom. With the logo. All you have to do is subscribe below and tell us what you want. Yeah, tell us what color shirt too. You can have whatever size, whatever, whatever. And don't forget to tell us who we should be collabing with. Yeah, I wanna know who I should uh, do some cakes with or makeup tutorials or whatever. Barack Obama. <laughs> All right, Brandon, you're not allowed to answer anymore. <laughs> Thanks for watching, friends. I'm Joshua John Russell, and you've been deserted. Joshua, can you make me some of those Will Smith pants? For sure. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> Come on, James. <laughs>